Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about the Fire Dragon stove. This is the Esbit uh, stove, which most of us probably have, right? This is a kind of typical infantry field stove. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it runs on these little uh, alcohol cubes, and uh, basically to set this up, you're just setting up this little windshield here, you're going to fold that in. I'm gonna put one of the alcohol cubes in there and we're gonna light it on fire. Now, the point of this video here is to see how well this boils and or heats up water. Uh, this is a standard GI Marine cup, or not Marine, uh, Army canteen cup thing, you know? And uh, I filled this thing up to the max and then I poured it into a measuring cup and it's about three and a half cups of water or liquid. You know, I'm talking like full to the brim, three and a half cups. So I put about two cups of water in there, which is roughly, if you can tell from there, about halfway full. Uh, and so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, set this on fire. <laughs> we're gonna try to cook this uh, with the lid off and see how well that does and, and how well that performs uh, with just one cube. And then we will dump this out, uh, rinse it off, put some cold water, get the canteen back down to about roomish temperature. It's about 60 degrees outside right now. And then we will put the lid on and see how that does and see how that, well that heats up water. So without further ado, let's see how well this does. Uh, this is good because this will give you a good general idea uh, when it comes to what you can cook in here. You know, if you want to boil water and make a soup or something like that, is that doable? Is that actually a feasible project to accomplish? All right, I'm gonna start the timer on my watch there. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. And we will see how that does. Okay, so judging by my watch here, we're about five minutes in, and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell too well from here, but uh, there are some bubbles that are starting to form in the canteen, but so far we're not near boiling or anything like that. Okay, we are at about 10 and a half minutes here. And I have a little candy thermometer that I tossed in here to give us an idea. And we're looking like we're about 142, 144 degrees right now as far as the water temperature goes. And we are nearing the end of our fuel cell. I'm not thinking this is going to get much hotter, but uh, we will wait. So we're uh, about, what is that, 80, 60, 70 degrees, give or take, short of boiling. We're at about 13 minutes and I expect this tab to expire pretty shortly here. We're somewhere between 100 and like 156, 158 degrees is kind of where the thermometer is coming in here. And at this point, the tab is just expired. It's on its last flame. So I'm gonna call it at about 13 minutes and 24 seconds uh, that the hottest you're gonna be able to get is around 156, 158 degrees uh, with the lid off with about two cups of water. So what I'll do now is I will dump this out. I'm gonna rinse it with some cold water to kind of get it back down to, you know, quasi room temperature. And uh, then from there, we will try it with the lid on. This is still hot enough if you wanted to make like some kind of hot cocoa or maybe just like a warmed soup or something like that. But of course, you're not gonna be able to boil and purify water by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so if it's any kind of survivalist uh, type deal, you're probably in trouble. But if you're already using your clean water from your canteen and you just wanna get it hot to make something like coffee or soup or hot cocoa or whatever, uh, this will probably work for you. Uh, you know, again, see water's already starting to come down in temperature. We're at 150 degrees and we're falling here at this point. So we will dump this out, we will put the lid on, and we will try again. Okay, uh, so we are back, cooled it down, just poured some cold water in it, cooled down real quick. Uh, and now I will drop another fuel tab in there. We will light that one on fire. And then we will put the lid on and we'll check it after 10 minutes because that's the last tab lasted about 13 minutes. So we'll give it about 10 minutes with the lid on and we'll see where that gets us. All 
Okay, we are at about 10 minutes and 25 seconds, so I'm gonna take the lid off and try to check the temperature and see how we're doing as compared to the other measurement. So with the lid on, we're not doing that much better, if better at all. We're currently coming in at about 150 degrees, and I've left that for 10 minutes with the lid on. Now maybe I cooled the canteen down too much, maybe the water itself was colder uh, when I started, but I'm, I'm surprised. Because, uh, so do with that what you want, that's, that's where we're at. But end of the day, you're still getting about the same kind of numbers uh, that we that we had before it, and that alcohol fuel tab is about out we're at about 12 minutes here so I think our temperature is dropping and probably will continue to drop because we've lost flame at this point so I hope that was helpful for understanding kind of the Esbit stove and its use and application you're not really going to be able to boil water with this uh, if you want to do that you have to use something like a jet boil stove uh, you will however be able to heat water up uh, to make some kind of hot drink or potentially soup or something like that. So, hope that was helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.